Treatment as prevention is absolutely essential if we are to have any hope of getting an AIDS-free generation. There are many other things we can do. We can, people could, if we could get people to use condoms, they would be very effective, but people don't like to use condoms. Free exposure prophylaxis reduces transmission by about 40%. Male circumcision reduces transmission by about 60%. But the only thing that really brings down transmission to levels at which we may have the prospect of an AIDS-free generation is treatment as prevention. We know that if people are on treatment, the risk of infecting their sexual or social partners is reduced by 96% and maybe even more. So if we want an AIDS-free generation, it has to be based essentially on treatment as prevention. The other interventions can be used to support it, to help it, to persuade people to take their drugs and so on, but the, the heart of it has to be treatment as prevention. It is the only way we can do it. Everybody is very enthusiastic about treatment as prevention, but none of the people with political or financial power are actually willing to come out and say, here's the money, we're going to do it. And I think the real stumbling block at the moment is, is essentially political will and political leadership. We know the science, we know that it works, it's not that expensive, in the long run it saves money, there is every reason to do it. But the people at the top are all hedging their bets and being cautious and not wanting to put their necks out. I think it's just that politicians are too risk averse. And there are times in life when you have to be bold and creative and say, you know, we're going to do this. You've got to monitor it carefully, you've got to look for side effects, drug resistance, compliance. There are a lot of issues you have to deal with. But as a friend of mine always says, if you do what you've always done, you'll get what you've always got. You know, I come from South Africa, and we have six million people infected with HIV. You know, we lost, we lost, we lost an entire generation of we lost an entire generation of children to apartheid. We now face the prospect of losing another generation of children to AIDS. And we, we have to stop it.